close and the prospect of no party winning an outright victory. Overall majority, uh, the smaller parties could prove to be very influential in this election. One woman who's hoping to raise the profile of Plaid Cymru, the National Party of Wales, is their leader, Leanne Wood. She's promising the party will be a progressive force for the UK and she joins me here now. What does that mean, a progressive force for the UK? Well, austerity has caused so much damage for so many communities, not just in Wales, where I represent, but communities throughout the United Kingdom. And I've said uh, that I would work with our colleagues in the SNP and any Greens that are elected in England in order to end austerity, to properly invest in our communities and to rebalance power and wealth throughout these islands. We say that far much far too much power and wealth has been concentrated in London and around the South East and people throughout these islands need more of a share of it's that It's interesting wealth. that you refer to the SNP there because your values sound similar to many of theirs and yet in Scotland the SNP are polling incredibly well as you'll know for about 50% at the moment roughly. Plaid Cymru not achieving that same levels of success as far as the polls are concerned. The latest one I've seen shows that you're polling around 11% in Wales. Why do you think you're not seeing the same kind of breakthrough? We haven't had our breakthrough yet. The SNP had their breakthrough in 2007 when they first formed a minority government. They've managed to uh, show that they they can uh, lead a government well and they've built up trust in that government and that support has increased from there. Plaid Cymru's time will come. I'm noticing already that the numbers of people who are responding positively to the messages that we're putting forward is growing so I'm confident that we will see an increase in our support as time goes on but of course the, the, the figure that you refer to is in reference to a Westminster election and we have uh, different elections and we poll differently depending on the election that we're talking about. Well yes and I was talking about a Westminster election mm. for the SNP as well but what then is your ambition for this election? How many MPs do you hope to achieve? Well we have three at the moment and um, I've uh, said that I'd like Plaid Cymru to have its best ever Westminster election result. The maximum number of MPs we've ever held at one time is four. So, But there are the three seats that we hold and there are another three seats that we've got excellent candidates in working hard. So um, we we should increase our uh, a number of seats hopefully. Well if you achieve that target, you manage to get four MPs, they could be crucial in helping mm. form a new government if the polls are correct and we are in for a, for a hung parliament. You have already ruled out doing a deal with the Tories. Why so quick to make that judgment before even their manifesto came out? Because I'm a Democrat and people in Wales have never given the Tories a mandate to rule over them and I don't think that they're likely to give the Tories that mandate in this election either. So we've said You're kind that of prejudging what voters think though, aren't you? Well, it looks as though um, the, the voters are going to decide on a hung parliament that neither of the two main parties have done enough to convince them that they deserve their trust uh, or a mandate. But there is a, a strong feeling in Wales uh, about the whole question of austerity and cuts and the way in which the Tory-led government has driven those uh, cuts through from an ideological perspective is something that many people in Wales find hard to accept. Do you think, having heard that manifesto, that you could have made the wrong call on that, that you could perhaps work with these people? They're calling themselves today after the, the party of, of working people. We've heard about them extending the right to buy to, to social housing tenants, uh, 30 hours of free childcare a week for working parents, promise that tax allowances will rise to ensure the minimum wage is, is, is tax free. Does any of that sound appealing to you? I'm sure that most working people will raise their eyebrows at that description of the Conservative Party. That's not where most people uh, see the Conservative Party. They see them as the party representing uh, the privileged. And yes, there are a number of giveaways in their manifesto and of course they haven't explained exactly how they're going to meet their commitments in terms of the cuts in light of all uh, these giveaways. But, you know, the, t let's take the question of, of the social housing, the housing pledge that they've made today. If they went ahead and uh, sold off the, the numbers of housing, that we, uh, the houses in uh, social housing, then that would leave fewer housing, uh, housing options okay. left for people. So that's a problem. What about Labour? Will you do a deal with Labour? And if you will, what, what red lines would you lay down? I've said that we would uh, work with a Labour government, but not uh, a Labour government that wanted to implement Tory policies. So the question of austerity and cuts is key. You've heard their manifesto, though. 
Well, yes, and they've made a number of commitments that we would find difficult to live with. Like, for example, we know that they are um, open to renewing Trident replacement, and that is something that Plaid Cymru uh, MPs would never, ever support. So is that a red line? That's a red line, is it, Trident? Well, I'd prefer not to talk in terms of red lines, because when you go into... Uh, but it's helpful for the electorate, isn't it? Well, I think it's helpful, more helpful to talk in terms of principles and priorities, and Trident is an important priority for us and Plaid Cymru MPs would never sign up to a deal which involved uh, them voting for trade and replacement. OK, well, Leanne Wood, we appreciate your time tonight. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you. Well, you can get much more on all the stories. We're